Hi everyone, just a short video this week to show you how I store my terrain making supplies. Uh, still a fairly small operation, so things can be uh, stored fairly compactly. I just have a small little uh, three-shelf bookshelf here um, with a little bit of spread over onto a couple of other uh, uh, shelves. I have uh, a couple of different projects that are currently underway here. I'm just curing. I, I sprayed these with the finishing coat um, just this morning and um, just wanted to make mention of a couple of things. I showed you last week in a video how I was trying to make um, a decorative motif on the tiles using a stamp and uh, for whatever reason um, the applying the finishing top coat, uh, the, the, the matte finished coat on the piece made the um, the paint on the, on the uh, stamp um, stand out quite a bit more so that it's actually uh, I'm, 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 I'm quite happy with the way it turned out uh, it's it's not meant to be perfect it's meant to be uh, you know slightly worn and and um, some imperfections but yeah once I I um, finished it the um, the detail I guess uh, stood out a little bit more so I'm, I was happy with that let's see if I can show you another piece where that's happened Perhaps not that one, but let's see this one. Yeah, so uh, that that turned out better than I thought. So I'll keep working on it and let you know how things go. So I'm just letting those cure before I uh, pack them away uh, for good. And uh, just a couple of other projects I've been working on. Uh, I picked up some um cheap miniatures at a, at a gaming store when i was away at work um about a month ago and these guys are just old hero clicks but uh, i went through a, a pile of them that were 50 cents or a dollar each and i picked up a bunch that are suitable for D D. and three or four of these guys um they're gideons i guess the name but uh, i'll pop them off their base and glue them to um games workshop bases that are um closer to the wizards of the, wizards of the coast size and these guys can be served as a, a goon or some kind of psychic warrior kind of um, kind of character. And same thing with these guys, some kind of psychic power. These are shaman, chain lightning going on, some kind of magic user. Uh, here's a here's a check, and she's got uh, it's, she's called magic, but she's got some sort of frost sword, some partial plate armor. Those all be uh, thrown into the mix and and. Uh, Proved to be useful. Um, so yeah, I just store things on this shelf. I've got uh, my molds and my my um, right angle platform there, and the uh, sheets of masonite that you saw in an earlier video. My paints, plastic tubs with um, some supplies in there. My stamps and uh, miniatures. Uh, here I keep some things I pick up from time to time. Again, a little trip to the dollar store. These are a little pack of. Uh, gemstones that will be scattered around uh, a dungeon I think upcoming. Um, they're not beads, they're just little standalone little um, plastic gems so I might use those as part of a hoard, treasure hoard. Um, these are uh, little metal rings that um, I saw online. This chap was making doors and he was using uh, flattened out pieces of these metal rings as the trim the hinges or, or bars on the door to make them look a little more elaborate so I'm gonna give that a shot coming up fairly soon. Uh, package of little small uh, round dowels that can be used as bars um, or railing, a bunch of different uses for these guys. And these larger tongue depressors are actually an inch wide so they make great um, one inch square um, flooring so I can lay a bunch of these out and um, if I want to paint the lines on them stain them to make them look like wood flooring and um, and yeah so th those would be great and lastly I don't know why the dollar store had these but they had little tiny eggs that can be used um, to make a nest whoops be used to make a nest of some sort um, so I'm gonna toy around with that and see what I can come up with so yeah, the shelving there, I um, I have the uh, the City and the Wilderness Master Set box sets, and I use these uh, snap lid uh, cases that uh, have the, 
snapping lids on them. And they come in two sizes and they're stackable. So um, I travel for my game sessions so I can throw a dungeon together and store it in a in a container. And these are pretty handy. These are all the small accessory tiles that come with the various sets of Wizards of the Coast tiles that I've made, or that I've purchased, sorry. Uh, both the uh, the larger sets plus, plus the smaller sets that you can you can buy that are standalone dungeons. And I have a basket here that's got uh, supplies for casting tiles, plastic cups, my squeegee, my glue gun, some more toothpicks in there, scrap pieces of foam board. Larger container with a snap lid that I use to keep larger miniatures. Um, mostly those um, large sized dragons that you can uh, see in another video of mine, uh, the ones I picked up from Michaels. Um, cutting mat, extra uh, foam board, wooden dowel, and over here just some um, uh, favorite collectibles of mine. I've got my paint brushes, but I've also got the Darth Maul cookie jar, or in my case, uh, uh, coin um, piggy bank, I guess. Um, there's Mr. Balrog, of course, uh, V for Vendetta. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be moving to our first house in a little over a month. So this uh, setup is gonna be relocated, but um, it doesn't take a whole lot of space to store your gaming supplies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little more room now to expand and to uh, install a larger set of shelves should I need to down the road. But um, you, can, you can get away with uh, quite a bit of gaming material if you're you know, economical about how you're storing things. Um, thanks and we'll see you again.